Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 95 How to Day Trade Any Market, the $1,000 a day challenge. For the young guns watching this video, $1,000 a day may not be enough for you. That is where you can always increase your position size, but at the same time, we always strictly adhere to our money management rules. What I teach in these sessions, you can apply to the futures markets, any futures contracts, to Forex, and of course to stocks there is a risk in trading most of you are aware of that but by law I do need to just flash up the disclaimer bottom line is don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and very quickly um, uh, just a very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook the uh, free day trading ebook the truth about day trading please click on the link below as always traders my videos are raw real and unedited I just thought I'd mentioned that make sure you subscribe to my channel also below so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest videos I bring out a number of videos every week and just a very quick advertisement as I mentioned uh, you can join my program get all of my indicators uh, all of the PowerPoints all of my resources over 200 hours of recordings all for only $197 so you can visit my website or go to the link below and last of all I have a bonus going at the moment where you can also attend eight of my live coaching sessions so every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I run two hour coaching sessions for traders around the globe uh, if you're unable to attend the sessions uh, personally they are recorded so you can watch at any time so let's now get into this now in today's session I'm going to be walking you through I think it was eight trades I took in this particular trading session for six wins one break even and one loss I'll show you part of a recording just because it'll go for too long otherwise and by the way I try to keep these recordings short but they always go for 30 to 40 minutes it, it's very hard to walk you through trade step by step without taking some time to do that and this is where it's absolutely critical traders if you remember this is winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do if you want to be a winning trader you've got to be patient you've got to be focused you've got to apply discipline uh, just so important so I'm going to share with you some winning strategies today now I just wanted to bring this up and so relax you don't have to learn all of these but I teach members a whole range of different trend following strategies now you may be wondering I only need one yes you can get away with one absolutely but there are different strategies where you have um, different pullbacks deeper pullbacks some are in very fast markets like the t25 is the old floor trader strategy um, if you trade Renko's or Renko tails you can do very well trading Renko so there's a whole range of different strategies but the reason I bring this up is that I trade both with trend counter trend trade and reversal strategy so in my sessions you might see me trade a range of different strategies however initially when you first get underway you want to limit the number of setups and I guide you anyway in the training where you should start because you've got to remember what we call the Goldilocks rule and I know many of you have seen this before but not too hard not too easy just right and so you want to start trading with the trend the other thing I want to really slap down straight away is the false promises that are sold to day traders about earning five hundred thousand dollars a day per contract uh, particularly early in your career is it possible absolutely that is possible however it's not reasonable for a new trader in fact you've got to start on the simulator and start from there and I teach members to start um, targeting $100 a day per contract now this is where you'll see when I get to the charts and even the video that um, uh, of my trading how realistic $100 a day is if you're trend trading you, you basically I'm not going to say it's guaranteed I can't guarantee that I can't guarantee you're going to follow the rules but I think you'll see uh, when we get to the charts how realistic this is now if you then trade 10 lots or 10 contracts 
that's five thousand dollars a week that's a life changer for most people so break it down start with a realistic target now you'll usually see I'm targeting between two and three hundred dollars a contract per day now I trade generally the uh, the Globex session that is the after hours market why because that suits me um, I've moved back from the States I'm down under at the moment and so I like to trade during my day and so the Globex market opens up from 6 p.m. Eastern excuse me 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and there's some great trading I love the session from about 1 a.m. Central Standard Time through to about 3 in fact I think it's about the time frame of today's session but I also love the afternoon session the New York afternoon session there's some really good trading for example in my part of the world um, 4 a.m. where I live is 1 p.m. Central Standard Time and you can get some really good trading I don't like trading the New York uh, morning it's just too fast for me um, I prefer a slower mark gives me more time to think uh, generally that is sometimes I do jump in when it's fast uh, even in the afternoon the New York session in the afternoon can be a little fast at times however uh, the Globex session that we're in right now is perfect okay and so I generally trade five lots and I'm after two hundred dollars so that's sort of my target and that suits me so I I promote to my members I run both a live trading room and uh, three mornings a week and also run my coaching room which you, you join as a member and you can um, you'll be attending uh, those sessions or watching the recordings and as I teach my members by starting off with realistic goals what it does it builds both confidence and competence okay now this member now uh, I think he's now earning his last email a few days ago was 200 300 dollars a day now per contract because it'll it, it helps you build um, discipline confidence competence and a whole lot of other things we'll talk more about that in a moment don't skip ahead traders because trading truly is 90% head stuff now a lot of traders don't want to hear this and they wonder why they're struggling now today you'll see me trading on the Renko charts I love tick charts as well and I also like hard charts which is a combination I teach members how to set these up between Renko and Heiken Ashi but you can apply my strategies to any type of chart now today uh, we'll, we'll get to the charts in a moment because it's easy to show you a screenshot but it's better I want to walk through from the right hand side so I can explain to you exactly what I'm looking for now this was a loss uh, and this was a counter trend trade which I say to all new traders ban yourself from CT trading it's a lot trickier um, uh, and you'll find that generally if you've got inertia 80 percent of the time the market's going to continue and for an example you get it wrong here you miss out on a great trend trade we'll talk more about that when we get to the charts but I've been day trading now for 28 years and I love CT trading but I also are very good at it but I don't get it right all of the time now when it comes to trading there are you know I'm gonna make this global statement look there's no certainties in trading there's only probabilities and that's really what we're after now in this particular case um, that was eight trades on the four tick you'll see this here so this is a, a really good session for me so well over three hundred dollars uh, per contract in 20 minutes now as I'm also going to say I've been trading for a long time however the strategies that I teach you every single one of these are patterns that you're looking for okay and human beings we're very very good at picking patterns and and identifying patterns very quickly I just want to run through the true potential here to show you if you approach this correctly and there's only one way to approach this correctly following the money management rules uh, sensibly that is getting rich slowly rather than having a false expectation of getting rich quickly I want to show you the real power here now to trade the market 
I'm trading uh, on now I'm trading there when we get to the chart you'll see a four tick Renko just I, I might risk up to 16 ticks which is $80 per contract now to stay within our 2% money management rule that means you need to have $4,000 per contract you may not have that in fact I have I allow for more than that because I only traded a risk of 0.5 to 1% 2% is great when you first start off but over a longer term you want to lower your risk because you effectively you are your own hedge funds manager okay and very few active funds managers are going to risk more than 1% in any individual trade but anyway back on the this so you might say to me Ray I've got 10,000 20,000 and I would say why not start on a micro contract cut your teeth make any mistakes you're going to make then you can uh, progress from there but on the other hand if you've only got a small account here you can start off with four hundred dollars targeting only twenty dollars a day now what that means traders is on the big contract you'd be targeting two hundred dollars a day now if you start off with four hundred 12 weeks later you have the potential of having 4,000 in your account by only averaging $20 a day and how this works you only add and start trading an additional contract every time you have another $400 you double your money this is an extremely realistic and conservative approach you can always ratchet this up once you're consistently profitable now is that realistic well here you can see here um, uh, this is on the micro NQ uh, you can see they're trading one contract $63 $75 $88 here we're talking $20 in a session okay so it is realistic now what it ultimately means is as I've mentioned within 12 weeks you are now ready to roll over to the big contract now by the way you can download this Excel spreadsheet down below in the description link if you'd like a copy of this uh, and there's a training video because there's certain inputs here you can put in and rules you got to you can you've got to apply otherwise you'll get ridiculous um, figures like and by the way over here can you trade 100 lots like here if you're trading 100 lots uh, on the NQ that's a $10,000 a week income uh, look look where you are in a year's time yes you could during the New York hours okay you could be trading 10 lots you may get some slippage but you can realistically be trading and going for your $200 a day but the reality is most day traders are very happy earning between you know anywhere from 500 to you know five thousand dollars a day everyone's got different targets okay so here once we roll over you're going for your two hundred dollars a day you've got within 12 weeks you're up to your basically your ten thousand dollars a week trading 10 contracts and you've got basically a fifty thousand dollar trading account this is the reality if you do it correctly but once again traders and a lot of traders that watch my you know the Google and look on YouTube they want to do their own thing and they're not willing and, and a lot of traders of course won't even become members because I'm blunt and I'm direct and telling you how it is but then they you know I won't even tell you some of the horror stories I get from members where they're just doing uh, people that finally decide they see the light let's start to do it correctly but the challenge is traders the psychological damage it has done to a trader when they go and blow their account two or three times anyway that's another story for another time now based upon $20 a day rolling over and remember you can do this on the ES on the NQ on gold on oil on Forex the exact same principle applies within 24 weeks we've got a 10 potential of a $10,000 a week income that is the true potential I'm going to show you how we do that now before we get to the charts let's get into some of the secrets and when I say secrets they're not really secrets at all I've been around for years and as Gan famously said there's nothing you under the Sun but these are the fundamentals as coach Don Wooden used to say you've got to practice the fundamentals every day 
and the fundamentals are for an example we've got to check for red flag news every day for an example the second uh, the second week after every three months after the quarter you've got the earnings season comes out so large companies will give the uh, the market reports before the market opens and after the market closes and a lot of traders just don't realize why they're getting extra volatility uh, it's because of that so the second week after the end of each quarter now that goes on for nearly three weeks these are really important annual daily red flags because if you're caught in a trade when you get a red flag news announcement comes out it can cost you dearly but the great news is there's some great websites that we use which tell you um, a week in advance what's coming out so we know when to make sure that we're flat when don't have any open positions but then we get to these things here like pivots your prior days open high low and close your major EMAs and you will see what I mean by this when we get to the charts in a moment your intraday swing highs and lows and your current days open high and low there are indicators that will plot all of these and most of them are free uh, and you'll just be amazed at how we bounce off these levels these are fundamentals to your trading so let's go to the charts and let's start um, from there so let me just um, minimize this now the first trade was somewhere along here so this is a four tick what I discovered was a combination of time frames now here I'm using a four tick and a seven tick and a 12 tick where I use an entry chart an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two now particularly the anchor chart two don't look if, if this is losing you a little bit once you see it explained over a couple of hours it's really quite straightforward but I've discovered a formula whereby we will get multiple EMA bounces at the same time on three time frames now you may think why is that relevant well let me just show you this here here we can see we're in a trading range okay we've got and by the way here's the 200 so you can see we've got bounces now each one of these steps here so I call these steps is worth ten dollars by the way so remember to net two hundred dollars plus a day if you net two hundred a day on a four thousand account that's a five percent return per day let's forget the dollars for a moment and think about this all I need is after commissions and in losses is 20 of these a day I just need 20 steps a day to hit my target now in days gone by when I get a breakdown like this yes I would trade the breakdown but then I didn't had no idea of how powerful this is you could trade this one setup for the rest of your life and just live very very comfortably so this is the entry chart we have a break below the 200 and look what's happening on my anchor chart uh, one on the right there I'm bouncing off for 200 that's that black line there so I've discovered this and I, I'm very hesitant when I say discovered I just found this really this time frame just through um, uh, just through experience so about probably about 10 years ago of this combination of time frames no matter what time frame for an example I, I do have to say this before the skeptics look at this and say oh this won't work in the New York morning of course it won't this is a four tick Renko you're gonna have to be trading a 12 tick Renko probably okay so it's there's different time frames that we use for different times of day now the other thing I want to say very quickly is traders don't try to find why the reasons the trades don't work I want you to look at these and look at the logic why they do work okay so here we get a bounce okay now I'm not going to enter this trade until the anchor chart one candle closes okay but look at that there okay that's a $100 move okay in that one move so this is a mechanical rules based pattern based setup that we see every day now I'll only flash up this some um, once 
now in my members area and this is where some traders um, that are new say there's so many things in the members area you know I'm lost well watch the uh, the training videos the introduction videos but what I wanted to show you was that in the strategy um, PowerPoints folder traders I've got like 35 PowerPoints but for each of my key setups I've got a PowerPoint there for it and in, for most of them there's really comprehensive training videos there and by the way some of my members have even put together uh, this is a member put that one together um, uh, that one there Franz put there the big dipper <laughs> he calls one of my setups and a really comprehensive um, PowerPoints so once again you start off just with some basic setups that I teach you and what I don't want to say when I say basic some core trend following strategies but once again there's so much I want to teach you on digressing let's get down to looking for some trades I want to show you exactly what I'm looking for here now what I've done is expanded my chart and on uh, other charts on other screens I then would normally have my anchor chart set up so as we're coming up here I'm now getting a retracement I've got a new higher high as I pull back I'm looking for a bounce off my major EMAs in fact members that are watching this know we call this a 3b with any trade we take and so this is already labeled from when I was trading um, with any trade we take we say to ourselves what's in front of the trade do I have blue skies ahead for an example over here if you're selling here you know you're selling down into a major EMA expect the bounce you sell here expect the bounce expect the bounce now eventually you'll roll over and we identify those when we start making lower lows and lower highs so here I've made a new higher high new higher low what's in front of me the current days high now as we come up to these levels quite often we will punch through those levels but other times we bounce what I prefer to do is what I call front run now here I've gone long five contracts front running is where we may get out a couple of ticks beforehand that works for me I'm a scalper in and out I want to get the cash register ringing the quicker the better that's my philosophy and that's why I'm usually wrapped up with my trading well under an hour but that suits me if you want to go for a slower or start trailing you might increase your time frame the only reason why these strategies will not work is the time frame that you're trading particularly if it's too fast where you can't manage a trade but anyway up we go so I front run that and it's hard for you to see there but I got out right there two ticks below the high of day now this punches through and we can say well look at all that you missed out on well not really I've left something in the middle for the other guy I'll now look for the next trade now this is a trade uh, a divergence trade here I call it 2d I got stopped out of this one immediately now reversal trades work really well when they're off pivots major EMAs open high low and close there are certain levels where divergence trades work really well and with this particular one it wasn't to be and I was stopped out of it basically immediately now you'll hear me say to all new traders do not trade divergence initially I'm good at it because I've been doing it for a long time but it's like with a normal trend trade you're not going to get them all but for divergence what I found with newer traders if you're looking for divergence trades it's almost like it's very easy to become hypnotized on them and then miss out on these okay so uh, here it was a beautiful trend trade that I then missed out on that well you may say for experienced traders why not stop and reverse well by the time I get stopped on this trade okay um, uh, it's already well and truly underway and on the other hand I don't want to get in when it looks like it's going to reverse get in here because quite often it will trend back down again so my attitude is if I'm in a trade I'll stay in it unless I've got a, what I call a time-based stop 
you know in real estate you know where they say location 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 in our business as day traders and scalpers we say momentum 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 so if the market is really slowed down that's where you then may choose to um, uh, cover your trade exit the trade uh, I call it and sometimes out you'll be out at a loss but it's better a small loss than a large loss I call that by the way taking a haircut okay as we now continued up here I then had then a, another 2d setup it was even better than this one here uh, it was off the hive day now in this particular case I got out at break even and the reason I got out of this trade at break even is once I hit what I call five steps on my dome it automatically takes me to break even okay and it just covers basically the commission I go to break even plus three ticks and uh, so there it went down and it bounced and I was out of break even that that's trading I then had uh, for members watching is virtually and oh, actually I was going to say here virtually it's a t10 but it was a t10 which is a change in trend or a directional change in trend setup which just kicks butt it does really well uh, on the anchor chart one so on the anchor chart one it was very obvious so I jumped in on that particular trade now see this uh, here so I've got my, a major EMA here major EMA here remember earlier I said do we have blue skies ahead so when you're selling with the trend usually you know you've got what we call blue skies here we're selling straight down into major EMAs this is a 200 why is that important because we nearly always bang there it is we'll get a bounce and I call that a 3b okay so up we go I entered this trade uh, I was in that a little bit late uh, up we went and I got out of that one got five and where it says I was stopped I was actually reason I was stopped out of that trade that was went to break even locked a few ticks in okay so it didn't give me a, a great return but that's the way it is okay I then had another t10 so that was a nice t10 I then had another t10 on the anchor chart that I missed that one and that would have been a beautiful trade now then I came down and just to show you this here let me show you this video for a moment okay I just want to show you that and just uh, so let me just click go so here this is the first I've just rallied ahead a little bit um, oops let me go back let me just go back here a little bit so you can just see how I execute uh, the trades here won't show you the whole thing but but here I've gone long here uh, on this particular setup uh, what you couldn't see I've then pulled it down and got out at uh, break even now what I didn't realize at this stage this is a t10 on the anchor chart I'd failed to look at the anchor chart now if we sold here we'd be looking at covering the trade or at least making sure you've locked profit in when you come back down to the 200 okay so this hopefully doesn't take too long to tick down but it's good for you to watch this because this is what you want okay you want the true fast track um, uh, today trading so uh, you'll just find here regular as clockwork you bounce off your major EMAs so once I bounce off it and I've then got then and I'd realized then I'd missed out on the t10 it was all over I'm then looking for another trend trade now this is where it's also getting a little challenging and the reason being if I was to drop in a channel here you can see I'm making lower lows and I'm making lower highs so we've got to be very much aware of that so by looking at the anchor chart so here I'm ready to go long again so using the dome uh, I've got a rule that tells me when to get in this stop if we've got time see whether I adjust it or it rallied up straight away went to break even very very quickly as you can see now just here see how I then brought my stop loss up why I had a pivot right there remember on that slide I showed you the pivots open high low and close etc you've got to be very aware of 
that's why because quite often you will bounce off them so what you can actually do like we may be hoping we're going to rally back up to the high of day traders but what I want to do because my entry was here I want to then get my st my stop lock some profit in just in case of this in case I get a reversal so some traders will say why don't you always trail here this uh, took off fairly quickly so oh no that was the one we we're just talking about is I prefer to get in get out because in the end you only need four or five net scalps a day and you've got a mighty good living you know I think I've got uh, another setup setting up uh, here in a moment so let me just uh, perhaps move that along for you and let's just see what happens what have I got here I'm pretty certain I had another setup so I'm just looking here at the channel and that's just typical look I'll, I'll see the, the bounce once again now I'll put in channels and things like that more out of interest and they do make great targets but once again I prefer to scalp so and just so you know um, doesn't matter the time frame I'm trading I'm after what I call seven steps now this is $70 per contract on this particular time frame Okay, now here I've gone short uh, oh, I've got it this is a t20 just dash one so this is another setup now this is a higher risk trade why because I just sold right on the 200 EMA so here I'll adjust my stop loss slightly now this is um, very definite t20 dash one traders I'll usually then pull my stop down so I'm just above the swing and you can see down here I've got a target I think I may have even got out here fairly early so I'm locking some profits in and the reason I'm locking profits in here when you break a 200 EMA you'll quite often find you'll then go back up there and retest it so I'm locking some profits in very easy to be adjusting your target as you trade uh, what happened there I must have got out oh and here I've got a buy I'm not sure what happened there but anyway I've got then I'm out of that trade now I've got another one now this is called a 2b by the way so I want you to notice down below here what have I got to see see that black line that's my anchor chart the major EMA on the anchor chart one now why is that important because that makes an ideal target now I really like to put my stops by the way one tick above the swing one tick below now I hit five steps that's why it went to break even now what I will quite often do if I'm in a really high probability trade which this one is I'll sometimes even lift my stop back up to one tick above the swing and the reason for that excuse me one moment so traders I just cough then and I paused the video <laughs> and I I rambled kept talking and went to the end of the video and finish okay let's finish up now thanks for attending and I just realized I hadn't hit record again so um, this is one where I'll have to play it back and work out where on earth I actually paused I can't remember so I'm going to go back to what I was saying um, a couple of minutes ago and uh, so if there's a bit of a glip or a glitch in the uh, video that's why so just here we come down we get a bounce now I think I might have mentioned this that whenever we take a trade up to a major support resistance level I'm ready to exit okay I'll either get to break even or lock profits in if it then if it keeps going fantastic if it does this comes back and stops me out uh, so be it I'm just going to go along a little bit here because um, now I'm back with trading direct uh, definitely in the direction of a trend see how we're now making lower lows and lower highs okay so for members watching this this is a 2b short and we've got major support resistance uh, down the bottom here and I really can't remember how far I got before I coughed and paused this video but um, uh, you've heard me talk about front running 
we can see the major uh, support level down here I will get out um, uh, cut usually a couple of ticks in front and you'll see a lot of us quite often we will bounce at that level because other professional traders have got exactly the same uh, thought pattern as well and then we're about to hit that here we can see I've tagged the I haven't been filled here I've actually hit my um, to cover the trade but and, and this is a good thing if you're a brand new trader and there we, now we're filled just because it hits your price does not mean you're filled I want you to remember that we are in you're in a lineup with other traders and I think this is um, just to show you then pricing collapsed down to the next pivot I have a setup I call the T28 well actually I call it the pivot magnet trade one of my members uh, Ali came up with this because I love my T's okay trade 20 trade 10 three B's but love my T's he, he calls it the T28 and it's a um, we've got a power extensive PowerPoint on it and training but it's selling and buying into pivots and major support areas it's a very high probability set up and you can apply it to any market any time frame uh, as well so down we go oh, and I don't think I mentioned this is it this is what we call the cloud so if you've got the cloud here you want to be trading especially new traders is the trade in the direction of the cloud okay um, if not no trade okay and what that will do is keep you on the right side of the market until you really get to understand how divergent work divergence works for an example just here uh, we're bouncing off yesterday's open remember in the PowerPoint that's one of the things that we look at okay so where is the uh, prior days open high low and close where's today's uh, open high low and close and where are our swings why all of these end up as price magnets so traders come and join me for $197 you get all of my indicators even if I don't have indicators for your platform I give you all of the indicator settings so you can set them up just using my custom indicator custom settings on basically any trading uh, platform and of course you can attend my coaching now if you go and visit my website well I'll just put in just so you know uh, if you visit it is 297 on my website and the coaching is 297 a month on the website if you decide to continue that is when you first join you're not signing up for the coaching as well and by the way you're not going to have any telemarketers ring you okay there's just myself and a couple of support staff uh, so I'm it um, which means you've got to drop me an email if you'd like to continue but if you do go to the website it's 297 a month so you can save a fair amount of money uh, traders that's it um, uh, I'll see you on the next video uh, and uh, look forward to having you as a member thank you traders